out there. This is Grimner. It's reallibertymedia.com. Friday night here, September 11th, uh, 2020. Yeah, it's September 11th, all right. Boy, howdy. That's, uh, that's what happens every, uh, well, once a year, I guess. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. This is the Freakers Ball. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Nothing? Oh, I didn't change the stupid graphic. Sir. <laughs> All right, Moose Girl's got to update her wire before she can contact me, though. We'll wait a little bit for her. Let me say hi and howdy to all the folks out there. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you had a good week. It's been an interesting week here for me, but uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Eh, eh. Oh, there she is. She was fast. She was fast. All right. That was a, that, that was, that was a, that was a quick, quick up of update. Quick update. Yes. Yes, it was. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Alive. I'm <laughs> okay. hanging in there. Good. That's good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, good. Anyway, I was just saying hi and howdy to the folks in the places that we're on there. Uh, you yep. can uh, catch us, of course, as always, on reallibertymedia.com on the yes. Freakers Ball Show page. Or uh, over there on Vaughn.Live slash Real Liberty Media. Uh, yeah, we're, we're there. And we're also on the right. uh, uh, for the audio stream on the RLMRadio.xyz page. And, of course, on RealLiberty.org. Uh, they have the audio stream there as well. So, yes. Uh, all those places where you can check us out. Also on TuneIn and um, right. yeah, the, the buttons or whatever you want to call them are there to... If you want to use your VLC or WIDAMP or whatever, uh, those are all there on the players. So, howdy to y'all out there, and howdy to y'all right here in the chat. And, and howdy. I, howdy do. <laughs> anyway, in the chat, I see I see the Moose Girl, of course, and myself. Uh, there we got Mr. Ben Wall and Miss Damn Van Meter. The Rob works. The Rob works in his mighty blah, blah. And uh, he's working on some stuff, man. Matt WJ is here. Oh, blah. Yes, oh, blah. Matt, Matt WJ. I know Kate's around. She was just talking about the the hockey yeah. stuff. Uh, and uh, who else we got? I see chitting, chit, 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 chatting up here. I see me. Um, I saw Rome. Oh, by the way, it's Rome's birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Rome's. Happy birthday, Rome's. Hopefully you had a good one. I know you got your tires. and Hopefully. Put on, put on that new hybrid vehicle you got. Um. <laughs> yep. Good on you. Yeah. So, That's a uh, good birthday present for yourself. Yeah, or you know, for the wife, so she, so you can have the van. Or who? Yeah, the family. So, yeah, so you can have the van to yourself. The fam. You know, right, the fam. The fam. Anyway, yep. so uh, welcome to everybody else. I didn't mention because I didn't see any. Uh, I didn't see any. Uh, see Ben, you're not you're not putting the. Uh, you need to do this part. <laughs> You need to do that part. Yes, yes. That would be helpful anyway. Well, it would be like helpful. Put the title of the song, like even though it's redundant because it pulls the title of the song, it doesn't. It, it's still, it doesn't automatically do it anymore like it used to. Yeah. So Grim can't tell what it is. He just sees a link. He doesn't see like what the song is unless you like type it out. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. He had to update it, and it was just yeah. Anyway. Oh, it used gone. to be better, but now it's sucky, so now you have to do that. <laughs> eh, well, whatever. It is what it is. Whatever. It, it, it still it, works. It's it works. Just it works different. just fine. All right. So right. Uh, Donna says tomorrow will be 13 years when the f the four Brown supporters were raided and arrested. This will be the first in all those years that all four are free men, uh, and hopefully on the 29th that will be released. Hopefully. I hope so, Donna. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I gotta say, I don't know a lot about Edney Lane Brown. Hello. 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 Yeah. Sorry, oh, okay. I've heard of them, but I really don't know. Like, I haven't oh. researched a ton into the story, but well, they they were uh, IRS 
tax protesters, if that's the way you want to phrase it. But, oh, okay. Uh, Donna, Donna knows every detail yeah, there. Yeah, I've so. seen her type a lot of stuff. I looked them up. Um, yeah, yeah. It was I don't a, know, a while uh, ago. Uh, it, it just shows the tyranny, the tyranny, you know. Yeah. Uh, of of the government, the IRS, uh, even if they're right. not. Even if the IRS is not really part of the government. Right. Oh, my God. 35 years for an anti-tax standoff, which, what kind of tax was what? Was it income tax? I, 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 or was I, it what? See, I, like I said, I don't know enough about the story. Yeah. Um, they, were, they, had a, they had a house and a property, and, mm -hmm. and, they, and they came they came to government came busting in and okay so if it was income tax all right the thing about income tax it's huh. not in the constitution of it's course it's not well. a thing you have to do it's it's just supposed to be voluntary okay right but since the government <laughs> likes to control businesses they make businesses make their employees pay the income you know what i mean oh yeah yeah like you 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 can't get a regular job unless you fill out the goddamn paperwork to right. take taxes out of your check. Right. 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 And that you, unless you do that, unless I mean, unless you don't do that, you need to be like working outside of the government. You know what I mean? Outside of that paperwork somehow. Sure. You know what I well, mean? You know, even 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 if you like put trader barter or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even if you put down that you're exempt and your employer, right. and which your, I do that. I do. I put exempt on my and, form. and your employer accepts it. They still take out SSI and FICA. They do and Medicare. That's, they take that's, that's, SSI that's, and Medicare. Well, that's that's FICA. So they take yeah. They take out Social Security and the the FICA. Yep. Yeah. So. So you can't avoid all of it, but you can avoid some of it. <laughs> yeah. um, and I think to me, everyone's exempt. If you read the fucking definition, right? Unless you're a company, pretty much everyone's exempt. You yeah. know, <laughs> and, and, unless you are a company, you're exempt. Right. Right. Unless you're a business, you are exempt. Right. And most people don't know that. They just think they have to claim one or two, or but they, they, you know, people aren't told certain things purposely they yeah. people make they think in, income tax is a law they think it's something we have to do and yeah. they are so wrong in that because it's not that's not the way it's it's not in the constitution that we have to pay income tax no okay it is not no anyway but so, uh, and yeah. how can they i mean this is your the u.s government not your i hate i caught myself this is the u.s government <laughs> coming down on these people and using them as an example, like see what happens when you don't pay your income tax. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, look at they, you know they, what I mean? They, they got Larkin Rose, you know. Um, he, yeah, he, they've he, got. A, well, they got that that actor. Who was that actor? I don't know. Uh shit. He was. Wesley can't Snipes. Think of his name now. Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. That's what <laughs> they got him on. He did, like, seven years in prison, dude. Yeah. yeah, Donna, Wesley Snipes. I mean, right, Rob? It's it's re it, it, it's theft, okay? It is total theft. Yep. Yeah, they did it to a lot. They've done it to a lot of people, Donna. They, sure. they come down on people. Yeah, they all lost, dude. They The government wins yeah. always well, in these cases, even though it's unconstitutional and illegal. It's not mandatory that you have to pay income tax. It is not. Well, he is now. now Woody. <laughs> he's definitely up on he, his... Is, is he listening? I don't know if he's listening. Whatever. No, I, I think he is. I, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, it's... It, it, he was... He, Leslie Slaves did like seven years in prison, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He... They came down on him hard, dude. And they wrecked his career. Well, not really. He's still... He's well, still, kind of, yeah, he, pretty much. He's still doing fine. Yeah, he he probably is, but I don't, I haven't seen him acting lately. Uh, well, I don't know. He did all those blade things, and that was before Grimm. Was it? Yes. All right, I don't that know. That was before, dude. Okay. Yep. You know, and they do that a lot. If, like if you piss the right person off. They'll bring you up on tax evasion charges. They'll, uh, they'll well, figure out a way to do it. If, if you're vocal about it, that that's the thing. Right. 
Right. If, you, if you're yeah, out too. there. If you and, speak out. Oh, sorry, Jim. Yeah, if you're out there and you're vocal about it and, and people are yeah. actually listening to you that these taxes are illegal, they will come and get you. And, and they, yes. they will find some way to get you if there's not if there if there is no way they'll create one. So Yes. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean well that's true, Kate. Some people set themselves up for this. You know, I don't think that's true in all the cases though. I really don't. I think they do like witch hunts and shit. Oh sure. You know what I mean? If oh, you're yeah. rich and you, they don't think you're paying enough, they're gonna come after your ass. You betcha. You know, they'll they'll find a way to do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, Martha Stewart, yeah, but they put her at, like, a country club prison. Why? Well, but that was, that was a totally different deal on, on Martha totally Stewart. Totally different deal, yeah. That was not about taxes. Right. Right. Snipes had all that money that they wanted. And... Right. Exactly, Kate. And he was a black man, and how can this black man have this much money, and he's probably not paying enough taxes, and we better <laughs> I, go after I, him. I, I, don't, I think the only color they care about is green. I, That's I don't, true. I don't think black, white, purple. Right. It doesn't matter yeah. that he's black. That, to them, it doesn't matter. No, right. no. It's numbers on a fucking spreadsheet. Right. They, it's like, if you've got enough money, they're going to, like, you know, I'm sure they did the same to, like, Trump and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, sure. They've that they've done it. They've done it to all these rich fuckers. Yeah. I mean, they do it, and if and it, you know, a lot of times I think what happens is the people just pay it. And, you know and, what I mean? And, 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 They're and, like, and, oh, I'm busted. I can pay it. I can afford it. And and in in Snipes' case, I mean, um, it may. I mean, he. I, I guess is an actor considered their own self-employed or. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, They're part of the the thing. Um, that that's just a union the, deal. The actors guild. Yeah, but 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 uh, but I think as far as that, I think they would consider them a business. Right. So. Yeah, they are like self-employed as an actress. You're you're basically your own boss. Or they or, actor, they, incor- or right. they incorporate themselves or whatever. Yes, correct. Yeah, and that's so. what they do. It has to be what they do, I would think. But then you hear <laughs> about all these like stories. I, I know Billy Joel comes to mind. He got totally ripped off, dude, by his like manager. Yeah, well, that's a different thing, You know, thing, I mean, that happens all the time, too. Sure, sure. You know, they get freaking ripped off. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Right, right, Rob. If you don't got nothing for them to steal, like, we're talking ultra rich here. We're not talking just the normal person. They don't care about you, you know, and they don't give a fuck. Right. Unless you're vocal about it, like the Browns. Or like Larkin Rose. Or Larkin Rose, or you know that that are not celebrities, really. They're not Hollywood yeah. actors or actresses, okay? Right. They, but they, they're on a to- They're like you and me, okay? But if you make a big noise that this stuff's illegal, then they'll come get you. And how long ago is it? I mean, how long ago was this? Two thousand and seven, dude. They've been in prison for thirteen years already. Yeah. Enough is enough, okay? Right. Um, same with fucking, um, and this is a totally different subject, but Lester, uh, or, um, Leonard Peltier. Okay. You know, he's been in prison, federal prison for, since the 70s. Yeah. I mean, un, unjustifiably, pliably. Wait, he didn't who, get a fair trial. Who is, you know what I mean? And they won't, they won't even look at him anymore. They just let him rot away. Who's that, you know? who's that shift guy? I think he's, uh. I forget, I can't remember his, his first name. Uh, Peter? Might have been Peter. Peter Schiff. Anyway, whatever. He's, he's He was rotten there for a long time. I'm not sure if he still is. Uh, Irwin. Irwin. Ir- Kate says it's Irwin Schiff. Yeah, yeah, and Donna. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's several examples. And then he's been rotten there how long now? 40, 50 years? I don't know. Yeah, there's several examples of people. He, like... might, be, he might be dead now. I don't know. Yeah, no shit, J. Dredd. Okay, it's yeah, because of the Internal Revenue okay, Service. You. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, right, right. No, it's not a. It's not a. It's not part of the government. It's part of the people that run the government that own right. the government. Yeah, <laughs> it's a. It's an agency yes. of the Federal Reserve. Right, he was the father. Oh, he was Peter's father. Okay. okay. Uh, so, he, he, yeah, they they they're the collection agency uh, of of the Federal Reserve is what they are. So. Um. Yes. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but if you can't see that something's fucked up about all that, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that's all fucked up, dude. That's all fucked up. Right, he died in prison, so. Nah, that's yeah. messed up. 
<sighs> anyway. I know. I know. <laughs> so, so it's it's uh, 19 years since the the big false flag 9-11 thing. Right. Um, I remember what I was doing. I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing. Yeah, I do too. My I, boys I remember. were 18 months old, and I was, you know, I had to get up early because they got up early, so I had to feed them, you know, and um, turn the TV on. I'm like, the first thing I see is a fucking, one of the World Trade Center buildings with smoke billing out of it. I'm like, what the right, fuck's going right, on here? Right. You know, and then it was just like glued to the TV, and you're watching this thing unfold, and you're just like numb. You're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know, I just remember feeling like, what the fuck is going on? You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, oh, sure, sure, absolutely. I mean, I was like, initially, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, my God, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember a friend, uh, I was sleeping, and, and a friend mm-hmm. called me and, and said, hey, hey, you know what's going on? I'm like, um, sleeping. <laughs> and they, they said, well, go, to, go turn your TV on. There's big, big stuff happening out there in New York. Yeah, I was in. I was Were in, you in San Diego? Well, then? Uh, north, northern San Diego County in uh, Oceanside. Oh, okay. In Oceanside, yeah. Rob said he was in San Diego too. Yeah, well, he was probably in the military. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. No, I don't know. <laughs> he, yeah, he, no, I, he was probably military long before that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was yeah. like, I didn't work that day because I had a part time job because the boys were eighteen months. And I remember feeling like, what the fuck is going on? And, oh, my God, I have two 18-month-old kids. What the hell? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it was just surreal and eerie and just like, it was just a weird, a mixed emotion thing. Yeah. When it first happened, you didn't know what the hell was going on. You didn't know if it was just New York or, if you know what I mean? You just didn't know. You didn't. And right. so you're just watching it unfold. And it, I think and I it, had NBC on. It was the Today Show, and they cut into this. You yeah. know, right when it happened, they right. cut into it. It looked you know? real. I mean, it, it appeared to be real. It did at first, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. So anyway. Yeah, and you know, um, people are still. Still believe the scenario, but if you know you, if you believe the government's version of it, then you didn't you didn't research it at all. You just ate up what they said. Yeah, right. but uh, that's not how it went down. Yeah. Then every you, most people know that by now. I would think so. I, I would think, but I think there's still a lot of people who are like, oh no. Hey, you know, I I, th- I think really in reality, most people don't even know about Building Seven. Right, they know. Like, one of the best memes I saw today was, WTC7 didn't kill itself. (laughs) That was one of the best ones I saw today. I mean, seriously, because they had that Silverstein dude or whatever on camera saying, pull it. So, you know, all the buildings were laced with explosives, okay? Yeah. And it wasn't just regular explosives. It was thermite. Right. Because if you... Go ahead, Griff. Oh, I saw I saw a meme on there today. It's uh, uh, George Bush as um, Doctor Evil from from Austin Powers. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and he's got his hands up like the air quotes saying, "Office fires." <laughs> right. <laughs> Office yeah. fires. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if you watch any footage of other buildings that are built similar, yeah, they don't come down like that. No, they don't. Oh yeah, I know. they I do saw, not. I, I saw another it, meme showing right. showing four different buildings. Uh, all being um, uh, controlled demolitions. Right. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Could, and then if you look at some of the footage, like if you go back in the archives and look at some of the old video, you can see the, the flashes. You can oh, see absolutely. the flash yeah. of the bomb, of yeah. the explosives going off. On Towers 1 you and can, 2, sure. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Yep. So you know the same, they did the same thing with Building 7. And actually, well, see... You can't really say which building was more important because you can't put a price on human life. But they wanted Building 7 down for a reason. Because sure. there was fucking documents in there that they did not want. They wanted destroyed. Right. Building 7 contained documents that they did not want exposed. That's yeah. why they laced that building, too. 
even though there was probably no one in there at the time, that's why, it uh, wasn't who was in there, it's what was in there. That's why uh, Silverstein said, pull it. Pull, he said, pull it. Right. And that's on camera. And that, and that is, is uh, construction, yep. destruction code for bring it down. Blow it the fuck up. Bring it down, yep. Yep. So, anyway. So, yeah, I mean, because it was weird. Building seven was weird. Because it was so pa- it was so later on, right? You know, it was like, like like all of a sudden we're dealing with all this World Trade Center shit, the two towers, and then like four hours or three hours later or whatever it was, oh, another building just came down. Yeah, and they and they knew it wasn't because of a plane, right? right? And they didn't know what the fuck. They're like, well, we don't know why that building came down. We right. didn't see any planes fly into it or anything. So they were all the news media was all fucked up. <laughs> you well, know well I mean? then there was there was also that that uh, I think she was a British reporter, and mm-hmm. she's she's on there talking, saying, "Oh yeah, uh, Building Seven came down," and, and then then they cut away from her real quick, uh, and, and then a few a few uh, minutes later or something, they go back to the building as it's collapsing. And then, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right, Rob. <laughs> no, Rob said BBC yeah, announced said that, it that, earlier that, than, that, yeah, that, that and that was moment. another telltale sign. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, how obvious can you guys be? Yeah. Come on now. So, there's a huge false flag. Um, yep, I, 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 it's Inside not, job. Inside no. job, totally. Well, it's, it's in, in order to push through all that Patriot Act shit and uh, eliminate, right. uh, you know, any kind of uh, privacy that and you might touch. And it excuse to go to war with a country. Oh, yeah, or with several countries. Yes. Um, so. We're like, we're going to get these the terrorists that attack yeah, our country. To, to, to start the never-ending war on war. terror. Right, that are still going on well, it's, it's a, 19, it's a, 20 years later. Yeah, you, you can't defeat terror. It's, a, it's, not, it's a, not a person. Right, it's not, it's exactly. Not a, it's not a place. It's a thing it's a it's a it's an idea uh, so, yeah, you, so yep. there, there is no defeating terror just like the war and that, on... that thing in pennsylvania yeah. i'm not sure i mean i think that was all recorded all it, those phone calls that were made well they, they obviously weren't real because right because uh cell phones at that point in time in that area did I'm not work 19 years ago they, they did not work up there in the air like that Right, it wasn't like it is now with cell phones. Yeah. In the air, even you know, and I don't even think they're great any today in the I, air. I, I don't know. I, I haven't been on a plane for fucking a very long time. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. So I don't know, but people, this was 19 years ago. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It wasn't like modern day, like times with the cell phones and shit. No, there was no smartphones or anything like that back then. No, this yeah, was before yeah, that. You had your little flip phone if you were lucky. Right. And uh, and and they just there was and it was not high coverage. It was not even four G. It was two G or three G. Probably two G at that point. Right, and that was the thing about the plane crash too. Is there was very little wreckage. Yeah, it just. But I mean, they, well, they, it's they like, it's like, the it's like wreckage. It's like the, pl- it the plane. You know, it's like the spread out normal. It's like the plane at the Pentagon. There was no plane. Yeah, it, there was no plane that it, hit the Pentagon. It, it, it just, it just, just poof, gone, vanished. Right, but Big they tried hole. to tell you it was a plane, but it wasn't. And then, then they, then they showed, oh, here's the motor, but the motor they showed could have never been in the plane that they said crashed plane. into it. Right, yeah. it was like a, <laughs> a Photoshop thing. Bro, no, they, they brought a motor in and set it down right, there. and uh, set it on the ground there <laughs> by the Pentagon. It's like, oh, they come totally on. staged the whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah it was totally staged. And that, and that whole. They were doing they were doing construction on the Pentagon at the time too, and it conveniently hit right where they were doing the construction. Well, it hit right where the, the all this accounting stuff that they wanted right. to cover up was, yeah. and not to mention the two trillion dollars that disappeared a couple of days ahead oh, of time. Yeah. We can't find it. <laughs> it must have burnt up or blew up in the fucking right. You know, I mean, we, and there's just oh, there, yeah. there's two, just two, how much was it? Two trillion. Two, two tr- oh yeah, oh yeah. We misplaced two trillion dollars. Right. Um, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, okay. Right. And Silverstein just happened to buy the insurance on that building, you know, the right. $2.3 trillion. Excuse me, and I had to leave off $300 he, billion. He was dollars. watching it from a hotel <laughs> in New York City. He was watching the whole thing happen. Right. Silverstein. He was right there watching it go down. 
Go in ahead. New York City. He had the front he had the front window to watch this whole thing go down. His sure. whole creation. He was right there watching it all. Yeah. In New York City. He that's why he said pull it. Yeah. Because they needed seven to come down too. I think they thought seven would come down just on its own, but they knew it was well, it was explosive just like the other two. Yeah, who you knows know? what they what they whatever, but uh and the Bin Laden family was in D.C. Meeting with, with George H. W. Bush, Bush at the time. Right. And they flew them out when all all, all, all other air traffic was halted except for the Bin Ladens. Right. Yeah, they were they, able they to were, fly out of here. They were protecting the Saudis at all costs because... Yes. Uh, yeah, and, you know, uh, you saw what happened to the price of oil after, after 9-11. Right. It skyrocketed. Yeah, it did. And, and so, it made a so, lot of people a lot of fucking money, dude. Especially the Saudis. Yep. <laughs> yes, it did. Oh, and people God. are like, oh, no. Today they'll still say, oh, no, we, we'll never forget. Yeah. The lives yeah. lost. And, you, you won't remember correctly. You know, You'll just never forget. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And it's Larry Silverstein. That's the piece of shit. Look well, him up. He's one okay? of the pieces. One, one of he's the many one pieces of, of shit. Yep. You know, yeah. And, so, and Bush knew about it. That's oh, why sure. they had him reading the fucking book to little school kids that day to act like he was out doing uh, presidential shit. Right. See, I, I'm such a caring president. I'm reading to school children. And so, like, he knew it, it, he knew exactly what was going down. Oh, absolutely. They all knew. And, and even after the guy came in and told him, hey, this this happened, right. he's, mm-hmm. he was like, all right, well, i got to finish reading this book here to these kids. Yeah. Because he, he like, knew he gives a look like okay, <laughs> and then um, also certain companies within those towers told their employees to stay home that day. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, most of so, them. So, I mean, that, that building should have had fifty thousand people in it, not three thousand. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so a bunch of companies said, "Oh, don't come into work that day." Right. I believe it was a Tuesday. So I on Monday, Monday they mm-hmm. said, "Call in sick tomorrow." Yeah. They said, call in sick, don't come to work tomorrow. And so a bunch of people did not go to work. Right. And so of the 3,000 people, which, if they, well, Graham, the 3,000 isn't just people that were in those buildings. The 3,000 incorporates the cops, the first responders, the fire fires that showed up and went in there when it was still on fire before it fucking collapsed, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep, Tuesday. They took out... All those first responders that responded initially, they knew that would happen. They knew that all these cops and firefighters were going to show up to the scene. Yeah. They knew that. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, we're going to send them to the building while it's burning. Little do they know, it's going to explode and cra- collapse right. into ash. Exactly. Right. So, nice, right? Oh, A little beautiful. added touch there. Sure. You know, let's let's kill our our cops and our firefighters in New York City. Let's kill and them. Then, and, then, and then after that, they become be started to call them first responders. They call them that to right. this day, even though they're not yes. often not often the first ones there. Anyway, exactly. Let, let's, let's play some music here. All right, let's do that, and, and uh, we'll be back with some more stuff. chitter chatter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Enjoy. This is Joe Walsh. All right. <laughs> oh, man, Leo, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> All right, Leo Maraccioli there uh, with his newest cover. She drives me crazy to find young cannibals there. Came out today. Uh, so before that, we had uh, Summertime with Billy Strings and Marcus King. And we kicked it off with Joe Walsh doing Rocky Mountain Way. Oh, man, that guy's crazy. I tell you. <laughs> oh, you with me, Moose? I am. You am. I is. Yeah. Anyway, um, I just want to touch base on the wildfires. Hang on a second. Being set purposely, most of them, by Antifa fucks. And I'm sorry, but people are dying, okay? And once you start killing people, you lost me, dude. You fuck off. 
Uh, they Fuck never... off. You don't got a right to fucking burn other people's shit, start fires, kill people because of your cause, okay? If Which... your fire caused somebody to die, guess what? You're a fucking murderer. And you don't even know what the okay? hell your own cause is, so... Right. You're a fucking murderer. If you're setting fires because you believe in your cause so much that you think you've got a right to kill somebody, you need to fuck the fuck off, dude. Whoever the fuck. Yeah. I'm yeah. dumb. I'm sorry. It's not even I'm not like, sorry. You know, Actually, I'm not fucking sorry. It, it's not even targeted. It's just random. Just kill whoever right. randomly. Right. You've yeah. got no right to do that. No one does. Nobody does. No one has a right to fucking, I'm going to burn your shit because of my cause. Right. You know, who the, you're a fucking murderer. Okay, ten, at least ten people are dead. Okay? And way more than that have lost everything they fucking own. Fuck the fuck off, right. Fucking fuck the fuck off. Right. <laughs> fuck the fuck off. Seriously, you people are out of fucking control, and you're fucking mentally ill, okay? Right. If you're setting fires, that means you're fucked up in the head, you're goddamn arsonist, and you're goddamn murderer, and there ain't no two ways about it, okay? Well, hell, going down, up and down the street, lighting building, or, uh, built, uh, what businesses out of What the fuck is up with that shit? You're mentally fucking ill, okay? You you're know, burning people's shit? How dare you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Come on, now. That's, that's better than Greta. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not no fucking Greta. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I ain't. But, you know, I, you know. All right. Um, uh, 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 anyway, just, just before we go on, I, I just want to post this yeah. link. Okay. This, this has all of the information that you really need. Well, not necessarily all of it. But a, a good, a good um, cross- a reference, reference of information of information on 9/11. Um, okay. Well, it, it's it's on Global Research, um, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the stuff. Oh, I've heard about this site. That's a good site. Really. Oh, it's, it is. It's a really good site. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this uh, this is this is this article has been bounced around for well since September 12, 2001. Right. Um, uh, so. The day after it happened. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you can dig in and, and see where people. Where true free thinkers were at that point in time, understanding right. that the shit that you were being fed, a bunch of bullshit, was a bunch of bullshit. So, right. um, anyway, it's a really good article. Uh, the the link will be in the, in the blog, but uh, we we've talked enough about September 11th in the first uh, segment there, so uh, we don't we don't need to cover it more. But uh, I, I definitely suggest reading through that article if you have. Any doubt at all about the fact that this was a total false flag? Um, no kidding. Yeah. So, uh, and and like I said, this is the day after. This is before all the all the information came right, in. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. The box cutters, Rob. That's that was initial. It was initial when they said box cutters. I'm like, really? Yeah. They took over us playing with fucking box cutters. Come on, box cutter. What else? What's the utility knife? We call, some people call them box cutters, but basically it's called a utility knife. You know those ones you cut carpet with and shit. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I have several. Like of them. you, you can't fend off that. <laughs> no, it's like, come on. It's like Once a hit your jugular. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, it's it's like a one inch blade. You know, to, right? To, it's fully, a little tiny blade. When it, when it's fully extended, it's like about one inch. So like, yeah. yeah, you know, it's like come on now, box cutters. Anyway, and, like I said, I didn't, yeah. I didn't really want to get into talking about it too much since we talked about and it. Aren't box cutters metal? Yeah. Didn't they, like, screen for metal before 911? Sure, they had metal detectors. How the fuck did they get, you know, come on now. Come on, people. Think. <laughs> think. Use your brain and think. Yeah. Anyway, just uh, just some, some reference information there. Because you know, you still sometimes you still have to argue with people about them, them being idiots and thinking the government was telling the truth ever about anything, um, which they don't. Right. Ever. Uh, so uh, they are sharp, man. But fuck, they're an inch long. It's not like someone's in there with a goddamn machete, a blade big enough to chop off heads or something. <laughs> yeah. Come on, little utility knives. Oh yeah, we're gonna hijack a plane with little utility knives. Okay, yeah. Right. Well, yeah, come on. Now. Well, what, what about what about later on the shoe bomber guy 
It's like, oh, right. come, oh on. come on. And that, and that was just so that they could further invade your, your was privacy. Was that like a year or two later, or was that further on? Uh, how, how, how long after 911 did that happen? I think, I think it was, I think like it was 10 years. I think it was a couple of years. I think it was a couple of years. Oh, a couple of years. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I oh, yeah. He time. had he had bombs in his shoes. Yeah. The like, older oh. you get, like the more <laughs> shit just blends together. And who? What about I mean, the, the yeah? The, you uh, can't like re- the you under- remember shit, but you yeah, don't know exactly right. what the, the you underwear. <laughs> the under the underwear bomber guy. Oh yeah, the underwear. He was before a shoe bomber, right? Or was I, he after? I, I don't. I don't know. I think they call him the under rube. <laughs> The diaper bomber. Diaper, under <laughs> diaper bomber. Oh my god! So I got mean, just totally ridiculous shit, and that yeah. was, and that and that was to get you from to stop bringing liquids on the planes. That, I hope she's okay, Donna. What, I'm what praying for everybody. I'm I'm sending good vibes constantly. Well, hey, okay, we have let's... some friends that live in Oregon at, too he, from the chat, and we okay, yeah let's, they let's, need let's, to be safe. We'll, we'll get back. Yeah. Let me let me read what Donna had to say here. Okay, sorry about uh, that. My medicine woman lives up there, mm-hmm. Colton, Oregon. There are lots of people, medicine people fucked, uh, mm-hmm. which means people all over this country are fucked and have medical yep. issues, or that have medical issues like herself. Uh, mm-hmm. So it will be a seizure fest because of some pieces of shit. Uh, the Antifa and BLM people. Right, uh, right. Most, most worried about the little kids that depend on the oils. Yeah, that, that for sure. Tori, yeah, for Tori, sure. Tori, Tori Vicky, right, I'm back from my little trip up to the mountain home. While I was out, I caught looters with a hockey-like mask hanging from his mirror Great. and gas can in the back. Um, spoken with the sheriff and provided pictures. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and 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 uh, of of course, there's some of them doing that. Um, yes. And then, of course, we've also seen the directed energy weapons right. uh, coming and down. I think it's a coordinated attack. I really do. I think it's a coordinated attack. It's a planned attack. They take advantage because California is known to have wildfires in the spring, wildfires in the fall, and they know it's really dry there. Right. Well, and, I mean, you, you know, just, and the people that if 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 it, one of them was truly started by a gender reveal party, you were fucking dumb fucks. Okay. <laughs> no shit. Come on now, really. No shit. Get well, I mean, a brain, know, dude. To just look back people. at the just look at the back at the Paradise Fire and what what happened there. Right they, last they, year. Yeah, right, yeah, Trim? yeah, yeah. Last year in California. Yeah, last yep. year. Where they it was weird because seriously, houses were burned. But the mailbox in front of the house was fine. Right, and all the trees around it were fine, and right. the so grass. How, yeah. You know, it's directed if that if it's that precise, where the house burns down, but not the mailbox that's right. fifty feet away from the house or twenty five feet away from the house. Exactly. How the fuck? And we talked about this last year. I remember it, Grim. I remember sure. talking about these fires. Yeah. And saying the same exact stuff we're saying today. Yeah. They were directed energy weapon. Do, D-E-W, look it up, look it the fuck up. <laughs> also, look up Dark Winter. Yep. Dark Winter refers to a scenario that they tested out, because they're famous for doing these simulations, right? Right. Like Event 201, before the pandemic, right. they did, in October of 2019, they did Event 201, which was a simulated um, biological agent attack, or whatever you want to fucking call it, uh, epidemic, pandemic, plandemic. They tested it out before they went live with it. Sure. Also, in 2001, I believe it was, interesting year for them to do this. I'll look it up quick. They, to verify that year, I'm pretty sure. It might have been 2007, let me check. Anyway, they did the same thing. A simulation. Okay? And they're, they're famous for doing this. Right. And it, it was it was June twenty second two thousand and one, which was before nine one one two thousand and one. Right. Okay. Right. Anyway, this is what they do. They test this shit out. Okay. Sure. Before they go live with it, it's just like think about your you know a web page, right? You you, you or let's say you already have a web page and you're gonna revamp it or something, right? Okay. Or upgrade it. Right. So you test it out before you go live with it, right, Absolutely. Chris? Absolutely. And so, especially if it's like a system that you need where people, you know what I mean? you got to, like, upgrade it. 
You know what I mean? And then you got to test it before you go live. And that's exactly what they're doing. Right. And that's what they've been doing for a very long time. They fucking dosed soldiers with LSD, dude. Okay? They would pull people up. They would pull the GIs out of the fucking line and say, you're going to do a, a test with us. And they dose them with LSD. And film their reaction. Well, then they started taking just regular people off the street and doing that. Yeah. And there is footage out there. Just look up CIA LSD experiment and the, you'll come up with a whole bunch of shit. Okay? Sure. So this is how they do shit. They use us as fucking guinea pigs, the people, right? Right. And the military guys, the reason they were able to get away with it when they first started doing it, we're talking the late 50s, early 60s here, okay? Yeah. Um, they didn't tell them they were doing anything to them. How cruel is that? They could have said, hey, dude, you know, we own your ass, and this is what we're going to do to you because then you have no choice, but we're doing this to you. But just to let you know, we dosed you with a hallucinogenic drug, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, give them a heads up before the trip hits. Say, oh, by the way, that water you just drank, um, it contained LSD. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? I mean, but they didn't want to freak these people out, so they just fucking, oh, I know they did, Rob. They did all kinds of experiments with LSD back in the day. Late, and people didn't know what the fuck was happening, dude. Yeah. They really did not know. Anyway, here is a link. Did I post that link? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Dark winter. Um, also, if you're into this kind of thing, um, these simulations that the U.S. government pr goes through, and I don't think it's just the U.S. Other countries probably do this too, but I know for sure the U.S. does it. Um, look up Atlantic Storm, Operation Atlantic Storm. Well, let, 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 me, let, me read, let me read this paragraph here. Okay, sure. From, from your article. Okay. Okay. It says, in fact, by one count, there have been no less than four separate U.S. simulations that prefigured the events that unfolded in central China in January of this year. In 2005, Atlantic Storm, organized by the biosecurity at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, simulated an international outbreak of smallpox pan pandemic, right. as opposed to the domestic smallpox terrorism that's stipulated by Dark Winter. The, the, the SPARS pandemic, 2025 through 2028, uh, conducted in 2017, tested medical responses for the outbreak of a novel coronavirus in St. Paul, Minnesota. Clade, yeah. Uh, Clade X, C-L-A-D-E-X. In my town. Saint Paul, I'm from Minnesota, dude. I'm from Minneapolis, which is right next door to St. Paul, dude. Yep. So anyway, Clade X, hosted by Johns Hopkins University uh, Center for H Health Security in 2018, proposed a worldwide coronavirus outbreak with no vaccine and which, accordingly uh, to Tom Engselby, the center's director, was designed to provide ex experiential learning for Trump administration officials. And in October 2019, Event 201 presented the exercise that started with an outbreak of novel coronavirus, a high-impact respiratory pathogen pandemic, and its designer's as its designers premised, that spread globally and that presciently forecast COVID-19. So you see there, once again, Johns Hopkins right in the center of all this nonsense. Yeah, Johns Hopkins. You guys, they, they come across like they're like this humanitarian like hospital and they're like doing such good for the country, but they're behind all of this. Well, they're, like, they're, you guys, they're, you need to research them, like, seriously. They, they may not be behind it, but they are intimately involved. They are involved, right. The government hires them to do this, their dirty work, basically. Yep, and, they and, they're, and they'll release articles saying shit, you know what I mean? Well, like, oh, we're transparent. It's like, no, you're not. You, you don't, you're clandestine. They're, they, look up that word, clandestine. It's done behind the scenes, or just, okay? Just go with the opposite of panda, uh, uh, transparent, which is opaque. Exactly. Exactly, Rob. Yep. I mean, and, and, you know, the US, the government's, the, the, the records are out there, okay? And not just with the pandemic shit and the cult shit and the LSD shit, but also the fucking 
alien stuff and the UFO stuff that they've been keeping from us for fucking generations, dude. Yeah. When people have seen these goddamn UFOs, they've seen them. Oh, they see them every they've day. They've seen ETs looking in their goddamn windows, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? And they're just deemed as crazy. Oh, you didn't really see that. That was a shooting star. Or that was a planet. Or that was, you know what I mean? They just blow it up. They even keep us in the, keeping us in the dark for this ET stuff, extraterrestrials and UFOs and shit. They've been keeping us totally in the dark since the goddamn uh, before before Roswell. Sure. Roswell was forty seven. Okay. Yeah. So they've known about this shit before that. You know, and yet right. we trust them. You trust them? Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lying fucks? Yeah, really? Not, not so Come much. on now. Not so much. <laughs> right. I mean, it, 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 all you have to do is scratch a little bit of the surface and do a little bit of digging and you'll see all this stuff. You'll, you'll find all this information out. I mean, aliens are mentioned, mentioned in the Bible, dude. Okay? People will be like, People will be like, they have not, that don't know. They'll be like, oh, that's not true. Yeah. It's not, that's not in the Bible. You want to fucking bet? Look it up. It's in the fucking Bible. Okay? Right, right. I mean, come on, people. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Uh, think I'm gonna... outside the box. No, dare to think for your goddamn self instead of just eating up with some talking head on some fucking chill news site has to say. Absolutely. Do your own goddamn research. Look this shit up. Oh, just you understand. Know, instead of just going, oh, no, that's not true, and being ignorant, why don't you just take some time out, you know, and look some of this shit up. I'm not pulling this shit out of my ass. Uh, which I'm glad to know. Right. I learned <laughs> a lot of this shit from listening and researching and listening to other other podcast people like Clyde Lewis. Yeah. And Hale and everybody. You know, sure. I mean, get off your lazy ass. Start using your goddamn brain. Yeah. You know, I mean, seriously, people are like, oh, well, I believe what the news says. All right, like, well, if you believe that, okay, then... Okay, why don't you try using your own goddamn brain cells for a change? Well, it was on CNN. Oh, anyway. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna post a, a link in there in the chat, uh, and okay. I'll, I'll put the video in, in into the into the post show blog. I'll, I'll, it's it's really good, but it's it's very dry information uh, because right. he's going through Which a lot. Which a lot of, of it is, but it, it, you know, still, it's not gonna be all fucking like a movie. All right. Anyway, this is this is put up here by Jeffrey Tucker on a i e r dot uh, org. Uh, it's the clearest and best video explanation of the virus, the lockdowns, and the impact. Um, and this guy breaks it down. I don't know who the guy what was his name. He's some scientist. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that breaks down this information. Uh, and, um, uh, Ivor Cummins is his name. Uh, so anyway, um, I'll, I'll put the I'll put the video. I'll embed the video into the blog tomorrow. And and I'll put the the link to the article, the AIE cool. article, in cool. this. But um, he goes through and he explains to you very clearly the, right. the the total nonsense that we've been dealing through, dealing with since this all right. began. And, and, and I like I just I, I like that site. It's a really good site. Anyway, he he uh, yeah. goes through and he explains all of the damage uh, caused by first off of of the lockdowns right. because of. Uh, I don't even know what you would call it. It's not really an overreaction by the government. It's a plan. So it, yeah, it was, it's they a didn't, plan. They didn't overreact to an v- unknown virus. They planned right. on doing all this. Yeah, so they anyway, did. he goes through and he shows all the numbers, shows that there's nothing left now. Uh, there, there, is no, there is no virus left at this point in time. It, it's, it's, right. all, it's all gone. Uh, but, but they, it's they, all about symbology with the mask thing so, and all so that it, shit. It goes through all, you know, talking about no. the cases, talking about the economic impact. Uh, and this, this dude's pretty sharp, so um, uh, it's a, like a 40-minute video. So take your time and, and watch through it right. um, tomorrow uh, or, right. or whatever. You know, do it right now if you want. That's up to you. I mean, it, uh, but, like, Grim, you – oh, sorry, Grim. I was just saying, but it, it's a good article. Like I said, the clearest and best video explanation of the virus, the lockdowns, and the cool. impact. So, um, and, and like I, you say, and you have a show now with Circle 
called. It's all connected. It's all connected. And it is all connected. Even from the historical back in the day. Like, you know, people have so much tunnel vision. They forget about history. Oh, they just, in the moment. And they just fail to remember all this shit's been done before. All this shit's planned. This isn't coincidental. Because if you know the history of their tactics, you will not, you, you shouldn't be surprised by this shit. No, no. But you really the, shouldn't, because this is what they do. But but that's that's part of it, part of all of this is it's brainwashing. You, you, you can tell somebody today the opposite yeah. of what you told them yesterday, and they'll say because you're an authority that I'm going to believe what you said today and forget what you said yesterday. Right, and we we give these people that we don't know. You don't know Doctor Fauci personally, okay? <laughs> Thankfully, who does? We don't know. Look up the history on the motherfucker. Yeah. Look it up. Right. Like, I dare you to fucking research these goddamn fucks that are telling people what to do. Yeah. And Fauci said today, oh, well, we might not be over this until the end of 2021. It's like, fuck you. Who are you, dude? Look how He's trying to make money, dude. Look, look. He's just trying to make money. Look how Think many, about that. Look, look how many people Fauci got killed over the AIDS vaccine. AIDS thing. Yeah. Look, research that part of him. He got many people killed. And Gates? Oh. Research that one. He's a murderer. Yeah, dude. yeah. In the, he's a murderer via the guise of, I'm doing good for the people. Like, right. he's a total snake oil salesman, dude. No doubt you know, about oh, it. Oh, I'm going to give you this to help you. Oh, guess what? People are fucking dying from their shit. That shit you gave them, dude. Right. You're a fucking fraud. Yeah. Fraudy, yeah. Fraudy, fuck these people, fuck them. <laughs> yeah, in the ass. Look Seriously, at... no, don't really. That would be disgusting. They're well, fucking. I don't even think they're really human. I don't well, know what the fuck you would fuck be fucking well, if you fucked on them. Well, I don't really. Well, I don't want to know. You, like, you didn't let me finish. It, oh, sorry. <laughs> in the ass with a bazooka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All no, right. Okay. Seriously, people. Think. Think hey. for yourself, please. Don't just buy into this rhetoric and this band jump on the bandwagon. Okay. You we're... make yourself look really ignorant. Like, I'm sorry, but people that do that to me, they're fucking ignorant, dude. They're just buying into this thing. They're, we're, we're gonna, they're we're gonna... going for it hook, line, and sinker. They're, they fell for the lie, dude. Yes, they bought they it. Did. Yes, they did. They bought into it hook, line, and sinker. They're fucking, ex they, they're like, yeah, dude. I'm going to go set fires in Oregon on. Oregon. Right. And kill people. Well, we're going to listen to a real thinker right here. Fuck me, dude. This, this guy was so far into the future. He he was dead several years before Corona rolled out. And he's if still... If you kill somebody by a fire that you set, that makes you a goddamn arsonist and a fucking murderer. Yes, okay? it does. Okay. Let's see what you think about this guy. I know you've all heard it before. Rolling Stones, Doom and Gloom. Yeah, it's a great video, great song, man. I dig that. Uh, of of the more modern uh, Rolling Stones songs, that's right up there on top of my list. Uh, uh, Judas Priest before that was Hellbent for Leather. Another entry off of the Epitaph DVD. Uh, they just put that out on Tuesday uh, there on the official Judas Priest channel on the YouTubes. And we kicked it off with George Carlin giving you his thoughts on the uh, coronavirus, although he was dead long before coronavirus ever rolled around. Yeah, but you know what? How true was all that stuff he was saying? 100%. Yeah, and it applies totally. Absolutely. It's like, hell yeah, dude. So that, yeah, that was, uh, that was uh, quite quite a good... Uh, Thing. I, Rob Works posted that video in the chat earlier this week, so I snagged it. Oh, cool. It. Nice one, Rob. I Good one. I snagged it. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to post this, too, and maybe you want to put it in to the... I don't know if you want to or not. All right, I'll take a look. In the podcast thing. But Rob posted this, and he's talking about something Wait, that yeah. he calls boat-lifted. Boat-lifted. Oh, okay. And I've never heard that 
term before, Rob. So interesting. Um, cool link. Thank you for that. Yeah, well, he's, you know. Yeah, that's good to add into the, our little 911 uh, anniversary show here. Yeah. Not that that's what this is, but no, it no. is on the anniversary of 911. So it, it's a, it's a Rome's birthday show. It it is, and it totally fits uh, our subject matter. So thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> I mean, there. Go ahead, Grim. No, I'm just seeing what you got here. Okay. Um, there was uh, another conspiracy theory I heard about this week. I'm going to get a hat tip, give a hat tip to Clyde Lewis. Right. Um, if you are into Clyde Lewis and you want, you're into, into the stuff he's into, it's pretty much the same stuff Grimm and I talk about. I mean, you know, he might talk about a little bit of different things, but it's basically along the same lines. He does have his own personal site now called Aftermath.media. There you can, um, it, it's as little as $5 a month. And I think the best one for the monthly is the ten dollar a month, or there is a yearly option. But um, it's very good information. I love Clyde Lewis. I've been listening to him for as long, you know, long time. Right. Uh, years, fifteen years, at least. Anyway, um, he brought up something called the Majestic Twelve. And right. let me find a better link. This isn't a good link. They, they were the, the hiders of the UFOs. UFO. Um, and a lot of people don't know about this program, okay? Oh, okay. And this started back in 1952, I believe. Yeah. And I also found a different um, good site here, but I'll share that later. Well, uh, any, any, uh, any people that were uh, avid X-Files viewers back in the day, uh, know yeah. all know all about Majestic Twelve. <laughs> okay, so here you go. Here's one link. Um, I don't know. That's like an FBI link. I don't know. I mean, I just, yeah, just I'm just not here. I'm not putting. But that don't in. click on that. Um, <laughs> no, no. Anyway, it's a secret space program that was developed in 1952. And uh, here we go. Oh, that's Huff Post. Shit. Here it is. This is, yeah, the X this is one of the best sites I've found. X Files right did things a little bit differently with Majestic Twelve, but they covered it very well. There you go. That's a really. I, I just found this site the other day. Every aliens, everything you want to know. Yeah. And I swear to God, they have a lot of content there, dude. I mean, I was like, oh, this site doesn't look right, you know, legit. But seriously, they have so much information there. Oh yeah, it looks like a '90s site. Right, but people still contribute to it and everything. So, I mean, I found that, and I also found Fandom, which is a very good site as well. Yeah. And you like that site too, Grim. I, I do. <laughs> and, I mean, like we say, you, you, you guys, you know, I mean, when you're wondering about something... And you're wondering if it's real or not. Like, if you're questioning something about the government or something about, I don't know, anything. Right. Um, do your own research. Like, don't just take other people's word for it. Like, think for yourself. The, the What they want you to do is to be a sheeple. They don't want you to think for yourself. They no. want you to just go along with what they say. Yeah, take their word blah, for blah, it. Even though what you see looks different than what they're saying. Like, they're saying one thing, but you're seeing another thing. And you're like, okay, what's really going on here? You know, I mean, it, to me, that's what I live for. I will not, I am an independent fucking person. And I'll be goddamn if I'm going to have someone tell me what to think without me doing some goddamn research on it and shit and making my own decision, Okay. Because I ain't going to just be some follower. That's just never been my deal. You know, I, I question shit. She you know, does. I research shit. You can't just blindly follow. That's so dumb to do that. But, um, you know, like <laughs> Charles Manson said, oh, come follow me down this path, honey. You know, unless he dosed you, which if he dosed you, you probably would do it, you know. But, so, 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 and now what you know about Charles Manson now, you wouldn't go down with the path, you know what I mean? Right, right. Anyway, since, I mean, we're, on, since we're on this uh, 
right. kind of stuff. Let me just tell no. you about this article. came out this week. Okay. Over okay. there on Activist Post. MK Ultra and the CIA's War on the Human Mind. So this is posted up here by Jason Morgan. It says that right. the, C the CIA has a fearsome reputation. The author and executor of countless coups and political assassinations, the CIA is notorious for waterboarding, extraordinary rendition, regime change, kidnapping, narcotics, smuggling, financing of guerrilla wars, and many other unsavory activities around the world, including against Americans, even inside the U.S. of A. But fearsome does not mean flawless. The CIA has failed at least as often as it, as it has succeeded. And sometimes the failures are so flagrant, such as sending thousands of anti-communist guerrilla fighters behind enemy lines in Korea, Eastern Europe, China, and Southeast Asia during the Cold War, where nearly all of them died, the CIA insiders wryly refer to their organization as clowns in action, which... Is that, Clowns in action. There that, you go. That, that's the CIA insiders there talking you go. about them. Yeah. So which is it? Which is it? Is the CIA <laughs> a dastardly menace or a hotbed of horrible mistakes? If Stephen Kinzer's new book, Poison in Chief, Poisoner in Chief, uh, yeah. is, is any indication, the answer is both. Uh, right. <laughs> a, veteran, yep. a veteran reporter on foreign conflicts such as those in Rwanda, Guatemala, Nicaragua, and Iran, Kinzer is a former New York Times correspondent and most famously the author of the 2006 bestseller, Overthrow, America's Century of Regime Change from Hawaii to Iraq, which if you don't know how Hawaii wound up as a state, you might want to look that up. You might want to check that in. Check into that <laughs> yeah. too. In, in his latest effort, he brings he brings his analytical skills to bear on perhaps the most disturbing CIA project of them all, MK Ultra, the top secret, long running effort to find a method for controlling the human mind. And we've talked about MK Ultra on here tons yes. of times, tons of times. Yeah, we have. So it says here, uh, history's most systematic search for techniques to, of mind control, Kinzer writes, was a byproduct of World War II. At the end of 1942, a University of Wisconsin oh, great. <laughs> bacteriologist named, I, named Ira Baldwin, America's first bio-warrior and part-time Quaker preacher, which I wonder I, if we're looking at Tammy Walwin, who's a senator. Which I, I don't know how you connect bio-warrior and Quaker preacher together, but he was Right, both. how do you do that? Yeah, so he, he, he was loaned to Washington with the blessing of the University of Wisconsin president in order, <laughs> in order to set up and run a bio-weapons program for, imagine the, that? for the United States. Uh, based out of Camp Dietrich in Maryland, the Baldwin Lab cranked out bio-weapons for possible use against Allied enemies. In one of the wow. uh, in one of Baldwin's bigger projects, shipment of tons of anthrax spores ordered by the by Winston Churchill for potential use against the Nazis was approved by President Franklin Roosevelt uh, and almost ready for delivery when the Germans surrendered on May seventh, nineteen forty five. So, nuke Japan and anthrax uh, Germany. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Wonderful, nice. wonderful. So for many, even Quaker preachers, World War II cleared the way, uh, cleared away the last of the psychological hurdles against unleashing bioweapons against an enemy. Kinzer's book tells tales uh, of how targeting unsuspecting populations was later justified by the bigger war, the Cold War, which followed the demise of the Third Reich. Uh, anyway, it goes on here further, and it talks about the MK Ultra. Uh, this is just got a little background there that I was giving you uh, on what this, uh, how some of this stuff got started. Uh, it's a, it's a fairly lengthy article, but um, good stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, I'm, uh, you know, like I said, we've talked about the MK Ultra a lot here. Uh, they do talk about the uh, uh, LSD here. Um, uh, in, in the states, it's a the real thing. It really happened. Like people will be like, "Oh no, that didn't happen. They wouldn't do that." Yeah, it did. It happened. And 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 if you think 
that big pharma is a new thing. MK it Ultra, MK Ultra was was tasked. Uh, Eli Lilly <laughs> right. created the LSD for them to use in the MK Ultra. Um, yeah, <laughs> for, for them to do, to, for them to drug you know full on towns right. and everything it's, here it's, here in, in the U.S. They're in cohorts, right? Here here in the U.S. without anybody knowing. Um, and then they talk about uh, uh, Ford's uh, Ford's VP Nelson Rockefeller uh, and what he was doing because um, most people don't even know who Ford's VP was. He, I mean, he, he was such a doofus and he wasn't around for very long. Um, so so and so people don't look at that. Oh, there's Rock. Oh, Rockefeller. Oh, he's a Rockefeller. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. Hello. Oh, so anyway, it's a it's a great article. Um, and uh, I, I obviously haven't read the book this guy put out, this Kinzer guy, but uh, it's it's uh, something for for you to check out. Um, this article right. was originally posted over on Mises, uh, but it made its way to uh, Activist Post where I picked it up. So, okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh... a. <laughs> oh, I I do not have the creepy cuties. Sorry. Um, I, I, it's, I let me tell you about the creepy cuties. This morning. Oh my God! Go, the, the, yeah. Okay. The, okay. Let's talk let, about let, it. Me, let me just say this. Just, just say this morning. Yeah. I I saw a, a thing on the Twitter, and mm -hmm. and it, and it said something about that and what crap it was. But there was a link there with a little video in it, and and I watched about three seconds of it before I said no. No. I'm not watching that. And then, right. and then on my other Twitter account over there in the RL right. Radio Twitter account, it suggested it, right? No, 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 no. Um, okay. there, was, there was a, 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 a just kind of a, a tweet about it, and when you clicked it, this vid, this not a video, a, a, a image, a still image opened up, and it showed mm -hmm. these like three or four little girls there grabbing right. their grabbing their crotches, kneel, grabbing their crotches, right? Kneel kneeled down on the ground, it's, looking it's like goddamn fucking. Look, Porn. They, they were looking like they were. They, I mean, they were looking like they were ready to give blowjobs, and they were grabbing their crotches. Yeah. And and it was like, this is a kids. Terrible. Program. This is a kids yeah. program. That's supposed to be a kids program, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. I, I believe so. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I personally called Netflix yesterday and today and said, "Why are you still airing the child porno on your website? It's soft child porn. You should be ashamed of yourself." I will never renew my subscription to your company, and I hope they go out of fucking business. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously. It's in your face this bad. You guys, we need to fucking stop this shit. The sexual, I mean, I don't know what has to happen, but the sexualization of children is ridiculous, and it needs to fucking stop, dude. Well, I, I, I'm, I can't. I can't. I just can't deal with that shit. That's just not right. It's out there and it's in your face. And yeah, and Netflix, cancel your goddamn Netflix subscription. Seriously, it's not right for anybody, anybody, any age to be watching girls that age dancing like that. Okay, it's not cool. It's not even cool for kids to see it. Because it's sexual dancing, you guys. It, it, it's inappropriate for that age group, okay? Yeah. Rooskies, I don't know what the fuck that... No, it's Netflix, dude. It's Hollywood. Pedalwood. Pedalflix. I don't call them Netflix Netflix anymore. I call them Pedalflix because they're fucking perverted. Yeah. Like, I called, I called yesterday and I said, remove that. Do not air this on your site anymore. And it's still there. So I called back today. I'm like, why the hell is that not removed from your site anymore? <laughs> I got a little bit more pissed off today. Well, you know, they've got, they've got you know, uh, millions. You know, like, and, I, and I told the guy, I said, I know you're not like the head honcho, but someone needs to fucking send an email or something to that motherfucker to say, get this shit off of our site. We're going to lose a lot of fucking money. All right, well. You would think you know, that, but then... No, they, if you they, keep inundating them with phone calls and shit, yeah, they're not going to like that, dude. They don't like this bad publicity at all. I guarantee you. They're on the fucking... They're not in good a good spot right now. Netflix yeah. is not. 
Right. Anyway, this was like the uh, one of the biggest breaking news stories I saw all week this week. All right. And so I thought I'd share it with you because this really affects what's going on around the world. Okay. From WSMV.com, Nashville News 4. A World War II veteran will get his final wish to have juicy fruit themed casket. <laughs> I should, what <laughs> a world a World War Two vet, a World War Two veterans wish to have his casket painted to resemble a pack of juicy fruit when he dies has been granted. Uh, his name is Suddy Economy, apparently, uh, ninety four years old. Told his friend Sammy Oakley, president of the Oakley Funeral Service, his last request is to have his casket painted like the iconic yellow. Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Pack of Gum. Oh, my fucking passes. God. You must have a lot of fucking money. <laughs> I guess. So, uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the, the, so they, they uh, said that we would do whatever we can to, to, to honor the veteran's wish when he called. A family friend for 45 years, Oakley told CNN, that economy is a unique and patriotic individual known famously through Roanoke, Virginia, community for handing out juicy fruit gums to everyone he meets. So he, he, was, he was admitted to Salem Veterans Medical Center three weeks ago due to a heart condition. A week later, he was moved to Virginia's Veterans Care Clinic, whatever, uh, where, where his health is improving. Anyway... Whatever he he wants to he wants to be buried in in a pack of juicy fruit, so um, <laughs> I don't know. I just saw it. What the fuck? <laughs> I saw it. Okay, so here is this video that I want everyone to see. I I watched this and I don't know how many people are aware of this. I know me and Java Doctor were talking about it yesterday in the chat. Okay. Um, so what's happening, or what has happened during this lockdown, is all the schools uh, and all other uh, other public places are being quote unquote upgraded. Their Wi-Fi is being upgraded, right? Right. To five G or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, uh, another is theory is is that it's not just that; it's an EMF. There's an EMF system that's been weaponized in these Wi-Fi systems, okay? If you watch that video, it's kind of long, so, like, watch it at a, at a different time. It's 30 minutes, but um, you'll see actual footage of kids that have been going back to school, and there's all these mysterious illnesses. And we're talking, they start having seizures, they start having nosebleeds, they start feeling disoriented. No, EMF, electro electromagnetic field. They, we call them EM, or EMF or EMP, electromagnetic pulse. Um, so anyway, what I'm saying is we don't know the half of it when it comes to this shit. Okay? Right. Well, you know, part of the cause on that as well as the yep. EMF is the freaking masks. They have to wear their freaking masks all day. It's the school. Yeah. At the school all day long. So, so they're breathing their own shit in all day long. Not healthy. No. Right? And a lot of them are coming down with uh, bacterial infections around their the, around their that, mouth, their face, and yeah, everything that, because it, the mask yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah, because because that stuff's nasty, and uh, yeah, these, these kids wear you know they're wearing the same mask day after day, week after week, right? And, and, and they're not washing it, you know. And, and they swap them, you know, back and forth between right. each other, and, and it's like you know what? It's a sigh up at this point, people. If you can't see that, I don't know what to say, but. It's wanting, they're wanting to make you sick because they want to inhibit your breathing process. And people will be like, oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. It's like, no. <laughs> I'm a realist, dude. I know I'm supposed to just breathe in and out normally without something covering my goddamn face. Well, let me, let, me just, let me just say this. You know? Come let, on, let, now. Let, let me just say this. Anybody out there that at this point in time still thinks that conspiracy theorists are wacko or crazy are out of their mind. Look at the world. Look what's going on. You don't right. think all these things that we've been preaching about for years, yeah. these conspiracy are theories 
are going on. They're right in your face if you can't see it. That right. That 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 the, the government is lying to you. The media is lying to you. They have been all along. They've been doing all these nasty things. And you want to go ahead and call us conspiracy theorists? That's fine. Go ahead. But, but to think that we're You're wrong. You're the one that's ignorant. To think that we're wrong. <laughs> Right. Uh, okay, so ELP is a different thing than EMP, okay? ELP is extremely low frequency. They got that site up in Clam Lake up there in northern Wisconsin, but it's not the same exact thing. The EMP, though, now they're they're putting it into the Wi-Fi, and they've weaponized the well, Wi-Fi. There's, there's a lot so of So they EMF. can do a pulse in a certain area, like, okay, so there was like a, a classroom of kids in a gym. And they all came down with mysterious illness. They all had to leave the building and get sent home and go to the hospital, some of them, because they were getting nosebleeds. They were disoriented. They were having problems breathing. And they and the school found nothing wrong. Right. But they didn't check the Wi-Fi. Oh, of course they checked not. checked for mold. They checked the food. They checked blah, blah, blah. And, oh, it's mysterious. And parents are like, what the fuck? I'm not sending my kid... Some school that's got some mysterious illness going on. Yeah. Give me a fucking break. Oh, it's we, we, it's unexplained. We don't know. But yet, keep keep sending your kids back here. Right. Like fuck you. <laughs> and the one the one um, school that had happened, it was in like a low income, lower income neighborhood. You know what I mean? That's who they target first, dude. The they target us. The lower people. They don't target their friends to have all the money and shit. Right. You guys, if you guys can't see this, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's yeah. just like, fuck, come on. Yeah. You know, you're, you're following these fucking rich fucks. You're believing these, them people. Something like, wrong with come you. On. Something wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> They're not real. They're murderers. They're assholes. They're scumbags. They'll do whatever. To make money, dude. They'll kill people to make fucking money. No, they'll, they'll die rich, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're supporting these fucks? Come on. Yeah. All right, we're going to do another music set here. All right, let's do that. And this is a fairly lengthy set, but... Uh, That's all right. You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. It's it's fucking... Music is the best thing during these times. I mean, I don't Absolutely. Know, it helps me. So. If, if it weren't for music... Yeah, I'd be dead, dude. Crazy, at least, I, you know. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. All right, this is uh, the Gibson Brothers. But they're trying to kill music. Yeah, well, they're not going to. Two. Can't. Yeah, they, they fucking can't. can't. Fuck them. Right. <laughs> they're not killing that. All right, this is the Gibson Brothers and Friends. Very nice, ladies. Very nice. Larkin Poe doing an original there. Mad as a Hatter. So, uh, something, uh, it's good, good stuff. Uh, that was a Chloe request, by the way. Hey, Chloe! Yeah, <laughs> that was a Chloe request. Before that, uh, The Doors uh, with L.A. Woman. Uh, I think we played that song last week, but we played it again because it was another request in there from Moose Girl. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we played it uh, last week, too. I'm pretty too, I'm sure. Might have been the week before. I don't know. Weeks kind of run together these days. Anyway, we kicked it off with with a little help from my friends. Uh, covered by the Gibson Brothers and friends. Yes, Del McCurry and uh, his crew were there. Uh, yeah, Sierra, Sierra Hall. Sierra Hall, Rob McCurry, Alan Bartman, Justin Moses, Jason Carter, Kobe, Cody Kilby. Uh, all, just all kinds of people there. In really that, good uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a nice, uh, nice rendition yes. of the old Beatles tune. And and it applies today. Those lyrics apply today. Well, they always apply. Right. You always, you know, a little help from your friends is always a, is always a bonus. Yep. And uh, so you know, except for me. Okay, so. I don't know. I'm not always like I don't always believe in petitions. Well, yeah, just go ahead and sign that one. Been mentioned and talk about it. But I did sign this one. 
the petition to remove cuties from Netflix and charge them with distribution and exploiting minors. And that's change. Oh, I can't talk really well right now. Change.org. And I signed it. I mean, I'm not always, you know, I've called them two days in a row. I'm going to call them again tomorrow. I'm going to keep calling Netflix and complaining about this until they remove it. And go ahead and tell them, tell them, yeah, I signed the petition. I'm going to get you guys busted. Right. Yeah. And, you know, this is ridiculous. You cannot, like, people, like, two of the, two of the reasons for signing people recommended. 11-year-olds don't need to be sexualized, and another person said this is disgusting. And it is. And I don't care what excuse Netflix gives you. Well, it's a kid's movie. Um, even if it's a kid's movie, it's inappropriate. Right. You're, you're, you're training kids to be little whores, I guess. I don't know. Yes. You're sexualizing children, <laughs> and that is just not cool. Okay? Yeah. And when the first time I called, I said, Netflix should be ashamed of themselves for having soft porn on their website, or child porn, I said. Right. I said, it's disgusting, it's soft child porn, you need to get it off your website. You know, and I said, I will not be renewing my subscription ever again to Netflix. And I hope... And tonight, I said, the last thing I, before I hung up, I said, I hope Netflix goes out of business. Thank you, and then I hung up. There you go. There you go. Yeah, because if, if, I'm not going to harass them. I'll just call once a day, okay? Yeah. And I signed the petition now, so I feel good about that. I, I'm glad that other people are, like, waking up to this shit. Because enough is enough, Okay. I'd, I'd say yes. Enough is enough. I mean, kids are meant to be kids, dude. No kid, until you're at the high school level, should be wearing makeup. Okay? Well, they all do. I know they do. Well, okay, a teenager. Let's say 13. All right? All right. But still, even then, it should be minimal. It should not be a lot. Okay? And the society that we are, that they're putting out there, the Illuminati is putting out there is to sexualize chil- sexualize children, dude, and they go they're going younger and younger, and they've been doing this for years, okay? Right. Through cartoons, through movies, through music, okay? Well, you know, it wasn't that long ago mm-hmm. that uh, a girl by the age of thirteen was married. And that was Jerry Lee Lewis. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course, oh, yeah. No, Jerry Lee Lewis, though. Of course, I'm him. Tell me how far back this goes. Back in the 50s, Jerry Lee Lewis married his first cousin that was 13 years old. Right. Well, that no, is pedophilia. But, but, I, but I'm talking well before that, you know, back in okay. the 18, 1800s, whatever. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. 1700s. Uh, mm-hmm. Girls, women. They were considered women at 13. Right. I agree. As soon as you got your period, you were considered to be a woman. No, seriously. As soon as you got your period, which, okay, for me, it was like seventh grade. Okay? People grew up. I was 12 or 13. Yeah. You know? I mean, that was back in the day, though, Grim. Oh, I understand. But times have changed now. People live longer now. Yeah. You know, you can't. That's that's old school shit, dude. That and even then, back then, it's still fucking sick, dude. Right. Well, they did it back in Rome. They, they it's fucking ba- sick, ba- dude. Back in the old Roman days, they they did it back then. Um, right, and it's fucking sick. And so, you know, right, it is. Just but, because a woman gets their period, a girl gets their period, doesn't right. mean they are a woman. Okay. I mean, I get that. Back in the day, it was old school and. That's whole, and people didn't live as long back then either, you know? No, no, they did not. So it was a whole different, but you can't really, co- I mean, yeah, you can kind of compare, but not really. Because it was a whole different time back then, Grim. Of course it was. You know? Of course. But speaking from me and my personal time that I've been here, which is 53 goddamn years, <laughs> yeah. 
I've seen it. And I've known what's going on. I've done the research into Disney and shit. Sure. I've done the research into, you know, Shirley yeah, Temple no, was fucking raped, dude. She was fucking sexually abused. I mean, there's, there's absolutely no reason or excuse for it in this day and age. No. Um, and to let it go on, and these, you know, people... They're like, oh, it doesn't affect me. Well, it will affect you if it's your grandchild or your child that gets involved with these people. Okay? Yeah. You will feel it. You will feel pain and agony. I right. mean, let's take Macaulay Culkin. Okay. Okay? He was in Home Alone. He was very successful when he was 12 years old or whatever. He looks like hell now. He became a heroin addict. Okay? Yeah. Because of the shit that he suffered through his time in Hollywood. Sure, yeah. Look at he's the, lucky he's fucking alive. Uh, look, look at the the, the 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 Corys. What do you call it? The uh, Corys. Corey Feldman and Corey... Um, Haim. Haim. Yeah, Haim. Corey Haim's dead. Corey Feldman's been speaking out about this shit, about Hollywood, and no one will listen to him or take him seriously. Right. But also, the kid that was in um, Harry Potter, Elijah Wood. Right. He has said Hollywood's full of pedophiles. So he too was sexually assaulted. I guarantee sure. you he was. Yeah. So they and, wouldn't and, speak up if it didn't happen. And, right? and, you, and you, re, you really gotta you really gotta give props to mm -hmm. uh, Rose McGowan. Um, yes. Because she point, she, she yep. started she started the, the big thing that took yep. down uh Wein, Weinstein, what's his name? Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah. I mean, Corey Feldman started it way before that, though, before she did. Right. But you know, and then, okay, so Natalie Wood. You know who Natalie Wood is, Sure, right? yeah, she's the... She was raped by a Hollywood executive, like a, a company president of a major studio when she was 16 years old. And then thrown overboard. No, not when she was 16. No, I know, it was later. She made them money, but then at the end, because they knew... She was going to maybe blow the whistle. Yeah. They threw her overboard yeah. and killed her. Yep. Because she was going to speak out. Because she saw what was happening. It was keep, keep going on, dude. It never stopped. Judy Garland was raped. Okay? Yeah. Shirley Temple was raped. Aye, Mickey aye. Rooney was raped. You're, it wasn't you're, just the girls. No. It was the boys, too. Hey, you look at you. And, you yep. look, at, look at people like Woody Allen. That yeah, Mary's, fickle. Mary's his freaking adopted 13-year-old right. daughter. Right, what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> and he won the case because he had a lot of money to pay for good lawyers. And he's That's the only way he got out of that. <laughs> Otherwise, he was going to go to prison, dude. Yeah. He was going to go to prison for that. Yeah. I mean, it's widespread, well-known. And see, the, prob the thing about Hollywood is it's always been this hush-hush shit. Like, the inner circle... They're always like, shh, shh, shh. Well, of course, and it's and not. They, it's right. Not, they don't want you to know. Of course, it's not you just them. I mean? It's, it's you know, all, all the uh, all the sports, you know, all the, the uh, right. those Olympic, yeah. you know, whatever, Bullshit. gymnasts and stuff and swimmers. Yeah. Uh, they, they all they all get it, too. It's it's widespread, and it's fucking bad. And I, I know it's a gross subject. I know people don't want to hear about it. It's It's hard to talk about, and that's part of the problem. That's why it's been so not talked about for so long, because it's an uncomfortable subject. But it's a sick fucking thing. And this is happening to our kids. And it can happen to your kid. It can happen to your grandkid. And do you really want that to happen to your kid or your grandkid? Well, it affects us all, okay? Yeah. It's not just a rich people's problem. They're grabbing kids off the street. They've been doing it forever. It's, remember the 80s, the milk carton thing? They were just going up and grabbing kids off the street, dude. Right. And they're still doing it. Yep. So I don't care what the fuck politics... You, this, you need to pick and be against this, okay? I would agree. Something needs to be done about the sexualization of children, the human trafficking, and all of it. If you're not on board with me, you're a piece of fucking shit. Okay? Mm -hmm. it, something needs to be done. It, this is enough is enough. 
The sexualization of children needs to stop. That's why, I mean, normally I wouldn't call them Netflix. But when I saw some of that footage, clips from that movie, mm-hmm. I was like, this is fucking bad, dude. These are little girls dancing like strippers. Right. Okay? That is not right. All right? I didn't do that when I was 11 or 12. No. And if you guys can't see the sexualization of children that's going on, I don't know what to tell you. But if you want to vote for a guy that stiffs people's heads, little (laughs) girls' heads, and grabs their tits, you go and you vote for that fucking sexual fucking cunt, predator cunt. Yeah. But something's not right with you if you're going up to someone's child that's not your own and you're stiffing them. Okay? There's and I'm not a Trump on. supporter necessarily, but holy fucking shit, dude. Yeah. These people aren't right in the head. They okay? are messed up. They're and the up. government, no matter what party it is, they've known about the sexual trafficking and the sexualized the child the trafficking. They've known about it all. They've known about the sexualization of children. And they let it fly. Yeah. And you know, because of these rich people that are lying in their pockets. Yes. You know what? It's bullshit. Yeah, it is. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah. And we need to put a stop to this fucking shit, dude. Yeah. The sexualization. Even if you had to boycott fucking Hollywood. Oh, penal wood. That's what it should be called. It should not be called Hollywood. Okay. It should be called penal wood because that's what they've been doing. Talk to Annette Funicello. Oh, she's dead now. But read her book. She was sexually assaulted on the Mickey Mouse Club in the 1950s, the original one, okay? Right. All those kids were. And read about the history. Most of them ended up drug addicts, dude, because they couldn't deal with it. They were sexually assaulted. It fucks with your head when you're sexually assaulted when you're a child, dude. You can't deal with it. It's too hard. You, you These people... It's very rare that they overcome it. Judy Garland, she ended up, a, she died of a drunk, being a drunk, yeah. and a druggie. Yeah. Marilyn Monroe, same thing. She was raped. She died being a drunk and a druggie. Okay. Right. River Phoenix, he died being a drunk and a druggie. Heath Ledger, he died being a drunk and a druggie. Jim Morrison, he died being a drunk and a druggie. You guys see this pattern? <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty clear. Do you clear. see a pattern here? Uh, I think it's pretty clear. I would say, and I would say it's not a conspiracy. There's it too is, much proof well, to back it up. It's dude. a conspiracy, but it's not a theory. It's a fact. Exactly. It's fact. Hey, Flash. So, you guys, you know, I love movies, dude. Yeah. I love the Wizard of Oz movie. I love it. You know what I mean? But I was brought up not knowing that Judy Garland was fucking raped, dude. When I saw that movie, I had no idea. I was a kid. I was four years old the first time I saw Wizard of Oz or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was like a kid's movie to me. You know what I mean? I didn't know better. Yeah, no, it was a kid's movie. You know? And that's how they get you. You know, that's how they get your parents and the kids and so on and so forth. It was definitely a kid's movie. Right. Yeah. But, you know, I just, knowing the history now and knowing that she was raped and so abused so badly, it just makes me not like that movie as much. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, and knowing Natalie Wood, you know, she was in that movie, um, The Miracle on 44th Street. She was like a, a child. Yeah. She was had been sexually assaulted at that age. Yeah. It's sick, dude. It's fucking sick. Sure. And then they they put up these movies, like, feel-good movies. Yeah, but you don't know what went on behind the scenes. Right. I mean, the Wizard of Oz movie, three little people died, dude. They don't tell you that, you know. Yeah. Because Wizard of Oz is such an iconic movie, like, you know what I mean? Why sure. would we say something bad about it, you know? So they've kept that information under wraps, but it's out there. Right, I, well, I verified know. that. That that did happen. Uh, all all that stuff happened, but it, it didn't really have anything to do uh, with the story of the movie. Exactly. So. Right. 
And, so, and, so you and, see that they. Go ahead. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the author Baum, I was L. Frank Baum. Yeah, Frank uh, Baum, L. Yeah. Frank. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think he he wrote that. I mean, as a as a good story for his uh, granddaughter or his niece. Right. Or, Dorothy. Um, Her yeah. name was Dorothy. <laughs> okay, so uh, you know it it was started with good intention, and the movie came out um, right uh, well crafted. So all, all the other stuff. Was, With the, was was overlooked. Well, and that's how they it's through trickery, dude. Sure. Like we're gonna give you this feel good movie. The behind the scenes, we're raping the fucking uh, star of the movie. Yeah. And we're telling her she's gotta lose weight. We're starving her and raping her. Okay. They don't tell you that part. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Flash a trip to the Vatican on peyote. Um. Yeah. Something <laughs> like that. I mean. You guys need to fucking wake. I mean, when people say wake up, there's so much to wake up to. It's like, I mean, but it, once you touch on one subject and you wake up on one subject, you see how it's all interconnected and it all leads. In, like you say, you're, it's all connected. It's all freaking connected. And I don't connected. mean to keep saying that, but it is. You, it is. Uh, you can't. You, and and it and is. Uh, did I did I tell you last week or whatever? I don't um, know. I was listening to an old show, mm-hmm. uh, one of our old... Of ours? Yeah, of our shows. Okay. okay. It was from, I don't know, February, March, somewhere in there. All right. Of this year? Yeah. Okay. And I, I forget the exact topic we were talking about, mm-hmm. but you said, it's all connected. I did. And that was, be, that was before sh- that was before I, I did my show, before I started the show. Your show, oh, okay. So cool. I, it, may, it may have been like embedded in my brain in there. Somewhere. Right. Probably. You you supplied me that information. Cool. Uh, no, it is, though. When you start putting the crew together, it's all connected. You can see it, and you can just... Yes, sir. It's just so messed up. They're playing on our sexuality, and they have been playing on sexuality for a long time. They use it as a tool. You know, like Disney, for instance. Yeah, they're raping they, kids, they've... but they're putting out feel-good movies. Come on, now. They've they've always done that. They've always done. Yeah, that. they have since the beginning. Any kid in Hollywood, okay, any child you've seen, even back to the start of Hollywood, they were sexually abused, dude. Okay, right. they yeah. were. I guarantee you, they were. You know, Jody Foster and Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, Lady Gaga. All these motherfuckers, dude, they've been abused sexually, okay? Yeah, yeah. They're in the fold. They're in on it. They're Illuminati. The Illuminati got them, and the Illuminati is the main, one of the main providers of our, quote-unquote, entertainment, right? Right. And if you watch some documentaries on the sexualization, the sexual symbolism in Disney movies, you will be, your mind will be blown, dude. Sure. They show in the clouds, like let's say Aladdin's there smoking on a pipe or something. In the clouds, they'll say sex. Right. Like they'll, they'll smoke and they'll say sex. Oh, yeah. There's tons of subliminals. Or they'll show a penis or something. There's Seriously. Lo- there's there's lots, it, it, lots of subliminals. It's so subliminal. Right. right. All right we're almost out of time here. Okay. Um, I mean, it's it's creepy. It's it creepy. Is. That's why it people, is. like, it's not a good subject to talk It's not a, a pleasant subject to talk about. At the same time, I think it's important to talk about it because this needs to fucking stop, dude. Okay, well that's good. Uh, like I said, it we're, needs we're, to fucking but, stop. But we're almost, but we're almost out of time here. So, I know. Um, I know. All right. So, I, I, so I, 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 so, <laughs> so I just wanted to, well, I just wanted to hit this little thing real quick, and then I do, okay. I do the last set. Um, okay. The state of New Mexico is run by a huge mega liberal that spends money like it's going out of style. And she thinks now that she's that the federal government is going to step in and bail them out, bail bail out the state of New Mexico, which uh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. I have no idea. However, this is a benefit of her crazy spending and shutting down all of the businesses. She now, after all this time, says, you know, recreational marijuana could save us. <laughs> yeah, think. Oh, what a brainiac! Well, e- even if not save us, uh, get at a least l- help the account boost it. You yeah, know? come get, on, get a little bit of the cash back that we, we that we keep throwing away right. in these, these massive holes. 
So uh, anyway, Luhan uh, is that her name? Yeah, Luhan. Luhan. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's Luhan. Michelle, okay. Michelle Michelle Luhan Grisham, MLG. Okay, MLG. That's the, what you call the, her. <laughs> the, the notorious MLG. Yeah, those dirty potheads. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I tell you. <laughs> Even though it's fucking medicine for everybody. Yeah, we're just blaming all the potheads. Yeah. Any, anyway, so the other day over on the Twitter, uh, so, somebody mm-hmm. tweeted out, uh, "Who?" Is your your favorite rapper of all time? <laughs> yeah. I responded with this song here. Notorious B L M L G. No, 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 <laughs> no, okay. no, no. I, I responded with this song here. Okay. Hua, <laughs> blood, belly. <laughs> Christopher Amoroso uh, uh, doing his version there of Black Betty. Yeah, it's great stuff. I love that version. Before that, we had Joe Bonamassa doing Walking by Shadows live at the North Sea Jazz Festival back in 2007. Uh, prior to that, a Musco request there, Private Idaho, uh, the B-52s. And uh, we kicked it off there with Blondie, Rapture. Now, I yeah, thought, the Rapture. Rapture. I, I thought that was the uh, first rap song ever, but Miss Circleu has instructed me otherwise. <laughs> instructed me otherwise. Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. I've had it. It's been yeah. real, dude. It's been really a great time. Oh, <laughs> you betcha. Talking about brutal shit, yeah. Brutal. Ooh. It's a brutal, crazy-ass But we had a good song, so hopefully that made up for all the brutalness, you know. Oh, we had great songs. Great songs tonight. We did, and we usually do. <laughs> yeah, we do. So, yeah. All right, um, tomorrow you got the right. uh, dork table at uh, noon at 2 Eastern. Dork Unite! Two, two Eastern uh, with Flash and Grammy. I'll be on Sunday at my normal time doing the uh, blues there, playing the trivia here in the chat. Uh, so that'll be good. Followed up by Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, opening up the big old cat of whoop-ass. Uh, then on Monday is uh, me and Miss Cirque doing nope. It's All It's All Connected. It's All, it's all Connected. It's it all is. Connected. It is. It is. It is. It's All Connected. It is. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, check the schedule on RealLibertyMedia.com or RLMRadio.xyz yep. for all the rest of the stuff coming up throughout the week. If you want to do a show, let me know. That's that's the way yeah, to get I it. I dare you. I dare you to let Grim, show, let Grim know what you want to do a show. Yeah. I dare you. We'll it, get, I mean, just the idea. I dare you. We'll Those get are fucking some, scary cats. We'll get you set up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. I dare you, motherfuckers. Pussies. Yeah. Sorry. Well, no, Sorry, but you are. Come on if you're now. A pu- yeah, come on now. No, don't. don't, 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 don't. <laughs> you know, you, it's easy to criticize people that are doing something that you do not do. Hey, nobody criticizing us. We're doing fine. No, okay. Uh, All right. Okay. <laughs> but come on and uh, do a show. It'd be great. Hey, get some balls. Make, make your Grow up hair and make, be real. Make. If you want to be real about your shit, if you're all like steadfast in what you believe in, do you want to fucking tell us about it? Do it. Just do make it. make your voices heard. Uh, Let's do it. Uh, all right, that's that. That'll do it. So uh, <laughs> right. hey, I know I'm brutal, dude. I, I'm not apologizing. Fuck I don't, you. I don't, I'm not apologizing. I don't. So Fuck anyway, you. thanks everybody. <laughs> thanks everybody. Have a great right. weekend. Yep. Rock and on with your bad self. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>